everyone, today I'm here with my dad and we are upgrading my MX650 electric dirt bike to lithium battery power. So we've got all our necessary materials including the battery, new battery charger, the lithium battery, 36 volts, 20 amp power, soldering iron, solder, XLR connector, wiring harness, power indicator, shrink tube, and our other tools. All right, man, let's get started. Assembling everything, we have discovered that our voltage regulator has the same hole spread as our top battery tray, which we are, is no longer in use. So conveniently, we are going to use the top battery tray to install the voltage regulator up there. And additionally, we have to make some modifications to the bottom tray to fit the new battery. Cool. Let's do it. the battery and the controller in place we are moving on to wiring first we have to replace the old um, power harness with the new one that came with the battery and that will be connected to the power leads of the battery then we have to use the existing XLR charging port and connect it to the charging leads of the battery all right, let's do it. battery is complete, it's time to install the battery indicator. We are going to cut it in and install it on the tank. And my dad did some extended researching, so we are going to tap it in to the yellow and black leads of the throttle body harness. Alright, let's do it. All the wiring is done, including our battery indicator. Since we used our existing charging port, we need to make modifications to the charging plug and replace it with this XLR connector. All right, let's do it. So now that we have everything installed, I would like to make a few points on things we did different than other people. First, we use this top tray to install our controller module instead of just leaving it. Secondly, we replaced the IEC style charging plug that came with the battery with a XLR charging plug for safety reasons. And lastly, we used, we tapped in our battery indicator into the throttle body leads instead of taking it from the battery. The reason um, we tapped in our battery indicator to the throttle body leads is because now it gets activated by the main power switch 
eliminating the need for another switch on the tank, which most people do. Well now let's reassemble the bike and give it a go. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Whoa, well, how okay. was it? So that was awesome. It's a lot lighter, it's faster, it's better. Okay, yeah. what was my time? Uh, pretty quick.